I'm not sure how I can like explain to you that computers were never allowed to happen. It um computing not being allowed was like main whole thing that happened. Okay? I'll try to explain it to you, but like what am I explaining? I'm explaining to you your entire life that you lived through and why am I explaining it to you? Computing is uh, very general, which uh, caused a problem as far as, um, you know, bad things are included. Things like encryption. Remember when encryption was illegal? Are you old enough to remember when it was simply illegal to encrypt? It's still, uh, it's still, um, there's still various ways that they restrict and constrict you being able to, um, to, like, like, if you, they will come and talk to you if you have a program that actually, actually, like, secures people's endpoints and allows them to, encrypt between secure endpoints aka going dark they will come and talk to you about that and um i don't i don't know if it's exactly illegal they sort of they sort of work out deal i don't know what the pressure is exactly any anyway, they haven't pressured no no agents have talked to me oh uh, warrant canary then i don't know i don't know what pressure they put on you but anyway this doesn't encrypt anything. I'm lucky. I, no worries. Uh, this doesn't even communicate between anywhere and doesn't encrypt anything. So I'm. That's how I'm escaping the constant control. Um. And but encryption's an example. Also copying stuff. Copying stuff. Copying files from one place to another making it so that we made something called Napster or, you know, it's not like it was a brilliant program. It's just, you know, you can have any sort of program that lets you go and go into people's computers to download some files, to copy any files ever. And we decided that you're not allowed to copy files ever. And so then, um, now there are technically sort of theoretically supposedly places where you can upload programs but i can't upload this program to there because this program has anything at all in it even this cute little five by five <laughs> jive of random colors it has anything in it not like not like too much but like stuff any stuff occurs in this program, making it so that you can't put it on GitHub or anywhere, and you can't distribute it on the web, and I can't just put it in my Napster, because we do not have the Napster. So, you, there's, I mean, we could, if you wanted, we could arrange some way for me to transfer some files to you, but it sure ain't easy. It is, it, is, it is a situation where making a copy of an interesting or pretty thing or anything with even, like, anything happening in it at all, any life or substance at all, is difficult. Like, we would have to, like, figure out a way, and it's not just naturally what happens. Because the life and substance of this takes up gigabytes of space. So so we um we don't allow transferring files we don't allow things to happen we don't we didn't allow it to go to ipv6 because ipv6 makes it easy to multicast and would allow us to share files and we're making it so there's like so we're using digital computing supposedly sort of digital computing except it's an amazing sort of digital computing where they have taken away the thing where you can easily copy things from place to place which is like the thing that's the thing that's what computers do so that's that's amazing
that's that's just that's just fantastic um uh uh this has this is just this is just a cute little program at this point i mean it's it's what, what is it an, a week old a couple weeks old and and linear structure is i mean in general u3 is older and in general general evolve procs are older than u3 but but linear structure is just a young program and just has a few things in it, like this thing where I can record myself humming for 17 seconds. I'm going to hum for 17 seconds. Ready? Let's go. Um, so that's, and now, but that, that recorded a flag. It didn't even record a wave file. It recorded a nice, wait, no. Yeah, it, it recorded a nice efficient flag somewhere, I think. But that's, having a flag at all in your program is you can't, that's not how GitHub works. There's no, there's no flags. There's no, there's no images or sounds or reality nothing can ever happen and um, now um, they, they want to be like normal people don't know how to program you do not know how to program you can't put anything on github because you don't know how to program but of course you know how to program you know how to make a program change from one way to another for instance this program you just poke it anywhere you go to the place where it makes the red pixels and you poke it and then you change the program and then the thing is you they can't allow you to upload your changed version of the program and me allowed my upload my changed version of the program and make lots of programs that change on do things all the time because then we would get control of computing and there's this whole thing where there's a few corporations in a particular place silicon valley they all gathered there to have a density of talent and they are dense they have dense talent in in programming but more important they have a dense talent in reality construction and constraining and they have constrained us to a particular reality tunnel where we like not they didn't make it so the computing is controlled they like came into that situation and they were like well okay and they like dealt with the situation of computing being totally controlled in this way by um making it seem natural to us by me being like yeah that's right computing is controlled and so i guess you just need to get your email from gmail and they just sort of slid in to the situation created by like if there was this instinctual like uh resistance to the openness of computing and so and so all of the and all of the so all of the um there so there was just like no no no, no encryption uh, encryption is ammunition Encrypting, making anything so that we can't read it is ammunition and then it, you can't you can't export it because it's ammunition and then and that when that was that so then, and then, oh no, you're allowed to copy and paste? What do we do? What do we do to stop the copying? <laughs> and they uh, figured it out. They figured, like, they, they, they felt this revulsion to the, the openness of computing, and they figured out how to tamp it down. And then these corporations just came down in the context of tamped down, completely controlled computing, and somehow made it feel natural to you. And I don't, it didn't work on me, so I don't know how that works. Why does it feel natural to you that none of your programs ever do anything? They have nothing in them. They are completely empty of substance. And you cannot, don't you ever notice that you can't download like Taylor Swift programs? All of the programs are by these small community of people who have completely controlled it and there are no taylor swift programs i'm not a taylor swift fan but i know that taylor swift fans exist so i notice when there aren't any programs with pictures there aren't any programs with sounds there aren't any programs with things already happening in them there are no programs that do anything cool i notice that and i don't know how it's like hidden from you 
Let me know. Let me know what that's like or whatever. It sounds nice. Is that? Is it? Did I figure it out? Is it regular garden, garden variety denial is the trick? Is that what I should do to experience this blissful ignorance that you are experiencing? I can just I can just turn off knowing and be like. Yay, thanks for providing a website. The small number of people in Silicon Valley who control us now. Thank you for a website. And will I just, I mean, the problem is, the problem is, it's a, it's a leaky abstraction, that denial. Denial is, like all abstractions, is leaky. And, and there's feelings leaking through the denial. It's feelings that leak through, and it's like, something's wrong with these websites. Not like, what the fuck happened to the web? Why aren't, why aren't we providing the websites? Why did, how did we get herded into a couple of websites controlled by corporations? What, what is their asset? Us? What the fuck is going on? Instead of that, it's like, it's like this feeling like, it feels like there's something wrong with these websites. It just doesn't feel right. I don't know. Something's gone wrong about social media. Fucking social media is blogging. But they took away the word blogging, even. They took away the word blog and the word vlog and all the words we made. And they took away, they took away the word folksonomy. They took away all of the, the ideas we had about how those were supposed to be liberating technologies. And they gave us the exact same thing on a small number of websites by controlling whether we're allowed to copy things and do things and apparently controlling somehow whether we're allowed to think things. So I don't... Um, I'm not trying to help you to escape. I don't know how to escape. I don't know. I'm asking you for help. How do I get, how do I, uh, how do I get to eat the steak with the agents and go into the world you live in? Uh, uh, let me know, let me know the way out of this hell of knowledge that I have somehow encountered. And, um, sorry to anyone who I've accidentally exposed to this this unpleasant knowledge uh sorry for for accidentally forcing you to join me in this inescapable and pointless hell of knowing what's going on in the world goodbye